What's up guys, Wallen Customs here, and today we're taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman Zero Year Batman figure right here. It looks pretty cool. Take a look at the back, some other figures. You get the Justice Buster. Alright, let's open them up. Alright guys, so here he is out of the box, and I have to say, I'm actually surprised at how big this figure is. It's a pretty big boy right here. Overall, um, there was a DC Collectibles version of this that came out not too long ago, and I have to say, there, and I don't have that one, but I know the scale of those figures. It's very similar. I'm surprised at how big this figure is. We're going to do some size comparisons at the end so I can show that off. Uh, but he does come with the left, this, left leg, this is the right leg of the Justice Buster. I'm going to collect that and build that as well. There you go. Uh, but let's take a look at this figure close up. Alright, so taking a look at Batman up close, he does sport a new head sculpt right there as you can see it. I'm not a big fan of it, you could be the judge of that yourself, but it's a pretty big head as well. Uh, but going down to the rest of the body, I think th they did a good job, I think it looks pretty good overall. They did a great job on all the black padding, if you want to call it that, around his body, it looks pretty good too, nice sculpting as well. Going down to the rest of the figure, he does sport the purple gloves. The belt's okay, nothing crazy, but it's pretty decent. Uh, he does have his gun holster right here for his grappling hook, I want to call it that. Grappling gun. It's been a long time since I read Zero Hour, so um, I'm not really sure what that, what that, what that is. It probably is a grappling hook. But going down the rest of the body, you can see his legs are pretty nice. Overall, the sculpting is pretty clean, if you want to call it that. Uh, new boots over there in the bottom as well. So this is a pretty much a new sculpt, so it's a pretty good sculpt, I have to admit. I'm not, I'm not sure how much of the base sculpt they're going to use for other figures, but overall this Batman figure looks pretty good. Going to the back, his cape is a little bit different as well because there's a split in the middle right there. You see that? Uh, is that supposed to be there? I think it is, but um, who knows. Uh, pretty decent. The sculpt is pretty stiff though, I'm not a big fan of that. If you guys watched my tutorial on making cloth capes, I'll probably cut it down the middle right there. Uh, but overall, it's very clean looking. Yeah, no real complaints at all right there. So going back to his gun right here, the gun holster right there, he does have his grappling hook. I'm going to call it the grappling hook. I don't think it's a gun. I could be wrong though. Uh, so it fits in there, and it fits in the left hand, right hand of his. Not the best. Kind of had to bend it a little bit, as you can see right there. Uh, but it's pretty decent overall. So when I have him posing with that, you can. And how it looks, you know, it's pretty decent looking, nothing too crazy. Uh, just a flat silver color, a little bit of sculpting in it. Very thin though, it's very thin and um, flexible as well, not like a hard piece of plastic. Alright, so getting to articulation right now, he does have a ball joint in the head, but it is very limited. It only goes left and right, so it doesn't go up and down that much at all. The shoulder joints are very limited as well because of the sculpting and padding right there, so it only goes up that high. You want to bring it up and push it back, it goes up about that much. Uh, bicep swivel right there. One point at the elbow isn't even 9 degrees as well, so that's kind of uh, disappointing right there. At the wrist, he does have a hinge and a swivel, so that's pretty good there. At the ab crunch, pretty good. Pretty good ab crunch right there. No complaints as well. Pretty nice. Uh, waist joint as well right there. At the hips, he does have T joint and hips. It looks a little bit different. More functional if you want to call it that. So it goes up that high, which is pretty good. Goes back a little bit, but it does a nice split. So very functional looking if you want to call it that. My, uh, I know a lot of people don't like how it looks overall. Uh, at the thigh, he does have a thigh swivel. One point at the knee right there. Doesn't have a boot swivel, but he has an ankle uh, hinge. And that's about it. No rocker. So very Decent, decent, basic articulation. Nothing too crazy, uh, but could it be? It could be a little bit better in the elbows, and I do wish that the head moved up and down a little bit better. Now, for a quick size comparison, here he is with some of the other figures I have lying around. Like I said before, he is a big boy. You know, this is the standard size DC figures right here, basically. And he's a lot bigger. You know, I thought the Mezco Batman was pretty big. He's a lot. You know, he's bigger than him. Uh, it's the head. The head sculpt is really big, actually, and um, I'm surprised. You know, it's a new body sculpt from what I can see, honestly. It kind of reminds me of the Batman and Superman Public Enemies figures. You know, a little bit bigger than 6 inch, but smaller than the 7 inch or DC collectible ones. Uh, so it's a little bit interesting. Um, it also, you know, I have a second one here that I was fooling around with that, you know, like I said before, there was a DC collectibles version. 
uh, you want to take this head and put it on top like that so you can see the differences right there. I think this looks a lot better, especially coming from the comic books. Uh, I do prefer this look a little bit better. And then when you sport him with the other figures, he still is towering over them. Uh, but it looks a little bit better somewhat, but you know, it's definitely, you know, it seems like they're not in the same scale. So it's very interesting, this figure is so big. I don't know if they're, actually, if they're purposely trying to make Batman bigger overall because of the new movie coming out. Uh, but yeah, that's something to note, really is. Because if you're not a big fan of the size, you might not want this figure. Alright guys, so what do you think about this figure? You know, I have to admit, when it first was announced, I was a little bit excited for it. Now that I have it, I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to admit. I think it's the head sculpt that I don't like a lot. Uh, the body is a little bit too big for my liking. You know, I'm really, I'm really curious and interested to see what they use this body base for and what, what other characters that come out. You know, maybe they might make a bigger Superman, who knows. Uh, but other than that, I'm a little bit, I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed by it. Um, I thought it would be a lot better. Overall, though, as a Batman figure standing by himself, it's pretty decent. Like I said, the head sculpt could be a little bit better for my liking, but if you like the zero hour look, it's a pretty decent figure, and you can't go wrong with it. Uh, you just have to pick your scale. Maybe you might, this might be better off with the DC collectible figures, um, if you collect those. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Uh, leave some comments, what do you think about it, and that's about it. So like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want, pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at wildandcustoms.com. If you like the video, get a thumbs up. Peace.